Hi, welcome back to the channel. So this is gonna be a bit of a chat and an update and sort of covering my first commute, but kind of a little bit later. So keep tuned, we'll jump in the car and we'll have a chat about what's happened. So I've jumped into the car and I'm gonna show you how many miles I've got left in this and there's a good reason why, 129 left on the uh, GOM. Um, my Apple, um, the Apple Play, whatever it's called, that links up. It does flicker every once in a while and it did struggle yesterday, but generally it did work pretty well um, and it seemed to improve a little bit as well. Um, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna get going to work and we'll have a chat as I get driving. So what I was originally going to do was share with you um, the original, my first ever commute to work. But really luckily, um, I'm allowed to plug my granny charger in at work. Um, so I, I was kind of going to plan to do obviously a trip there and a trip back and uh, plug in at home. But because I, because I basically found that out and uh, my manager said that it's fine, I am... Um, I'm pretty much like thinking, well, there's no point me filming my first commute there. You've seen me basically drive to near where I, I, I work in my test drive. So that would be nothing new. So what I've done is I've driven there yesterday, charged the car back up to 100% during my shift. And then I've driven home. I haven't plugged it in and I'm driving it back to work. Um, and hopefully I can get kind of this sort of 88 mile-ish commute in and charged at work. That will obviously save me an absolute fortune. Um, and that's kind of my plan. Um, now, when I drove there yesterday, I didn't drive massively economically. It wasn't an eco. Um, I didn't um, sort of, and the few trips, I, I literally, when I got it new, obviously I took out people like my mum and stuff like that to show them the car. Um, I wasn't driving economically then either. So where my um, where the GOM originally said like 186, um, when I fully charged it at work, it said at 165. And to be honest, that's what I was expecting. And it's been pretty spot on, um, go, knowing that I'm driving it like I drive my normal diesel. Um, so obviously driving style, you know, can stay the same if you want it to, or it can change. Um, so what I did was I decided yesterday on the way home with the full charge, I drive it like normal through the country roads. Um, and then when I got onto a dual carriageway, once I'd got on and got up to speed, I'd stick it onto eco mode. Um, and like I said, the GOM's been pretty much spot on, but I've basically saved about nine miles. Um, and that was only literally, that dual carriageway is a 12 mile stretch. Um, but I think just by having it on eco mode and sort of sitting behind sort of in the truck lane, just to try it, I'd say I'm probably not gonna do that every single day because who wants to drive at 60 miles an hour? Um, on when you can do 70 um, but I did that and it's sort of and it's increased it so it'll be interesting when I get a full charge tonight if I can get a full charge off of the granny charger after doing 88 miles in a 12 hour shift so I've got 12 hours to get that to f like fully charged so there's a little bit of a challenge and an interesting thing there now I'm hoping because I do like sets of 5 12 hour shifts that even if I can't get a full charge I'll have enough of a charge that I'll only maybe need to charge at home on the third day um, because I'll be topping it up, or maybe not even until the fifth day if I keep topping it up. Now, I'm not into this whole range anxiety until I do a challenge um, because I think, well, this car's got so many miles in it, why would I need to worry? But at the same time, I've kind of got in my head, I want to achieve the best um, sort of gone kind of distance I possibly can. So it's a really weird world when you suddenly swap from a diesel where you stick a full tank and you go, oh, okay, I'll fill up in five days' time because that's I literally do cover those kind of miles. Um, suddenly I'm going back to like kind of thinking, oh, when do I charge tonight, tomorrow? But it is what it is. What it is. Um, so this is the plan. So what I'll do is when I get to work, I will get my granny charger out, I will charge the car, and I will check back with you guys and let you know how it's charged up, how it's got on. Um, so that is the plan. Um, I've got something else to tell you as well, but just before I do, because a lot of people obviously skip when they get to the end of a video, if you haven't subscribed, if you possibly could, because if you're interested in EVs and you haven't got one yet, this is probably ideal, because this is a real commute, not just somebody sat in this here, like a city, and everybody turns around and says, oh, they're no good, and you know, it's inconvenient. Well, for me so far, it's more convenient um, and, it's, and it's a cost saving. I'm literally 
so far having to go well, I've not spent any money on charging the car other than when I first got it back from the dealership so, so I'm, I, maybe I'm just lucky or you know a lot of works are pretty good like that and we'll let you plug in anyway the update news so um, like I said subscribe thumbs up here if you can that would be absolutely cool anyway update news so uh, BT Charge Master what Renault used to install the wall boxes and again the way it worked out when I collected the car I was extremely lucky and what I've managed to do is I've managed to um, get the charger put in the day after I received the car so I only had to do that one granny charge um, so the guy came yesterday so there's a few things you need to be aware and I will do a proper video on it straight away they drill a hole down to put a ground anchor on it does take five hours but like I said I'll do a proper video on this um, and he um, and literally I drove around the block he plugged it in to make sure it was all working and it seemed to be really really fast that's it I haven't done anything else with it but I have a wall charger so I, when I pull up at home now I can just plug into the car I'll do a full video on the wall charger my experience how it all worked going back to some of the key things you need to know and need to think about um, and the sort of time scales that you're going to be looking at as well that will be coming up in a video very very soon but until I actually need to plug my car in that could potentially be another good few days um, at home then obviously I can't do a video because if I can have electric for free I'm not going to pay for it at home so anyway uh, like I said I'll check back I'll let you know about the charge and how many miles it says I've got left and the feasibilities um, so yeah keep tuned so a quick update um, I've been driving most of the way to work on eco mode and I didn't realize I was on eco mode at first because obviously I'd left it in yesterday um, and I've kind of got most of the journey and I've got a little bit um, like, a, like um, I've been getting a, I've been like basically what happens is there's a fan obviously it's nowhere near a strong um, and I've been getting a little bit warm now because it's like 21 degrees outside. It's been fine most of the way, but just in this, like, I'm doing what I'm down to now, probably my last 10, 15 miles to get to work. Um, I'm getting a little bit warm, so I've turned the come out off because I want, I want some cool air. Um, but um, yeah, so we'll see what that does to the uh, to the GOM, see if it improves it or not improves it, because when I recharge it, I'll see if I've improved a bit. Right, so I've arrived at work and obviously I end up turning Eco off. Um, so to get the full air condition because it's just too warm today but what's fine i'm just playing i'm learning it's a big thing obviously to get everything right but i'm pretty sure when it's mild or whether i could do it because i don't need the extra oomph that the that the engine gives with the with eco off on that kind of country drive i mean it's nice to go quick obviously but there's no need for it because it will do 60 miles an hour so i've plugged in and it says i've got 51 percent and 15 hours to charge the car. So that's equivalent to me driving to and from work and plugged in the granny charger at work. Um, now on that 15 hours, what I found already when I've plugged it in um, to give it a charge last night before I did the drive home, was it actually goes a little bit quicker and then at the end it goes really, really slow. So I'll be interesting to see, I've got a 12 hour shift now and I will be here for the 12 hours. So it'll be interesting to see in 12 hours time what that charge is, at, is actually like. But on range, it says I've still got 90 miles left in. So I've done um, between 84 to 88. And the reason why I added four miles on is, and it's probably more likely to be 84, I will say that. But I don't, I am, um, you know, I might have ran, like run the long, longer way to work than what I could have done. Cause I like to go out sort of down the main road instead of going through the town of where I live. Cause it's quicker at the sort of time of night there. It, it basically is um but so if we say 84 um that's 84 miles still with basically 90 miles of range left what is what you'd expect from what they say the car can actually do but in reality that means i could drive to work and back again before i actually need to charge the car um what's quite awesome i wouldn't want to do that because i'd be down to the last so many miles before i got home and why would you want to do that to yourself um but that's the most important thing i can get to work and i can get back i'm just going to be interested now to see um, how much charge I've got at the end of this but it's an experiment and a learning curve and I might try to eco all the way here eco all the way back one day eco off all the way here and all the way back again um, but yeah interesting um, so yeah I'll check back with you in 12 hours time so it's been 12 hours um, I've managed to get to the 99% on the uh, charge um, and that's really good because it said sort of 15 plus um, off and I know it gets a bit quicker and slows down and all sorts of stuff but um, and the DOM's gone up to 172 miles because obviously I've done a bit more of a longer stretch and a little bit more eco driving and I'm getting a little bit more used to the um, 
regen um, and you know driving an electric is, is a different style of driving to driving a diesel um, so yeah it's pretty good I even reckon now potentially I've got um, including today three days off um, and I've not got that much driving to do well, I've got a little bit of driving to do but not loads I potentially could drive all weekend um, my normal what I've got to do and then also um, probably not need to charge at home still to when I go back to work um, so that again is a massive massive plus um, because because at the end of the day it's uh, not cost me to charge at home um, I am looking forward to using my wall charger and seeing what the speed difference are but it's the old fashioned rule isn't it why, why plug it in if I don't need to um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens and see if it loses any energy over the uh, weekend when it's sat on the drive as well so I am yeah really 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 happy um, and hopefully I can get the uh, the uh, GOM to go up a little, a little bit more because um, I would like to see it go back to my first pit up at a sort of, I can't even remember exactly what it was, but it's about 183. Um, and I do believe I could probably even achieve more. Um, so it will be interesting. I've got a challenge coming up um, soon as well. Um, and I'll obviously tell you more about that at the time, but it's going to be a bit of a range challenge. Um, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to play it yet. I don't know if I'm going to try and do it on eco mode. Um, and hopefully get all the way there and get all the way back without charging because it's going to be quite a long way um, or use it normal mode and use a public charger for the first time I don't know yet and um, I'm not 100% sure how it's going to work out and especially if it's a hot day with the aircon running and things so that'll be quite interesting um, but obviously I'll keep you updated I'll let you know as things continue um, and obviously I'll check back in maybe on even my next commute to see uh, how long that says it will take because my next shift is just over eight hours long. Um, so I won't get a full charge if I do what I'm gonna do over the weekend. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how things go. Um, but yeah, if you're thinking of it and um, you wanna use it on a commute, obviously my first thoughts are it does it and probably, like I said, I could get there and back twice. Um, so I've got no concerns currently. Um, so that's a massive plus. Um, but yeah, thumbs up and subscribe if you possibly could and uh, if you even got a challenge or something you'd like to sort of see I'm I'm quite up for it really as long as obviously it's reasonable so we could do that as well but um, anyway I'll catch you next time and um, thanks for watching and yeah have a nice day take care bye bye